So a couple of days ago, I posted on my Insta feed that I'm struggling to sleep, and I seriously am. Normally, I would sleep between 12 to 16 hours on weekends and on holidays or when I'm on leave. But now, I find myself sleeping about four and a half to five and a half hours uh, during the week. Even uh, when I'm not going to work, I sleep the exact number of hours. I would get to bed at 9.30 in the evening, but then I would fall asleep after 12. And by 5, 5.30ish, I would be up. And that's a major concern for me because I believe that uh, resting is an essential part for growth and development. So I remember when I made that post, people started commenting saying that, well, I'm just struggling to switch off and I, I have a lot going on in my head, which is very true. Um, and you'll find out just now why that is. And also, some said it's because I'm growing up. When you grow up, it's expected that the number of hours that you spend sleeping uh, get reduced. And it's just a natural thing that happens as we age. So I then came across an article by Enhance CV. Uh, that's E N H A N C C N C V. Uh, don't know this, guys, but I found uh, this piece of work on burnout to be quite interesting which actually left me with a question how do you uh, avoid burnout or how do you deal with it when you see that you are actually burning out and i asked that question because whatever they everything that they indicated there is something that i think i am sort of like experiencing as well so it could be that i'm burning out i just wasn't aware of it one of the things that they say is that we idolize people that overwork themselves. Now, I come from a family of farmers. Uh, my grandparents would get up at 3 a.m. They would go to the uh, fields, uh, return, drink tea, and then go back, come back late in the day. It's like our silent motto at home was, um, we work until we can't breathe no more. <laughs> no more. And I feel like having been exposed to that, I took that as something that has to be part of everyday uh, life, everyday living. But then I think it backfires. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not in the field, obviously, but uh, with the things that I do, I find myself constantly working. Which brings me to the second point by Enhanced CV, which says... We have insane workloads that deplete our energies. And on top of that, we still have to invest our efforts on other things. Now, on top of the nine to five, the super demanding nine to five that I have, which I believe you also uh, have, and is as, as insane as mine. I, I would argue yourself too, have a lot of other things to do on the side. I've got side projects. I've got this and that to do uh, within a short period of time. I mean, we are all given 24 hours a day. And um, these guys go on to say that when we fail to manage our time, when we fail to, re to realize um, that we may be going through uh, this burnout concept that they present, uh, which we so know very well. And if we leave it untreated, because it's sort of like some sort of disorder, um, it leads to physical and emotional exhaustion that can lead to a higher risk of uh, high blood pressure, they count here heart disease, diabetes, I remember they said type 2 diabetes, mental health issues, and other health issues. And um, one of the experts on uh, burnout uh, who was interviewed by the McKenzie Group, her name is Jennifer, Jennifer uh, Moss, and she's written this book titled Burnout Epidemic, The Rise of Chronic Stress and How We Can Fix It. So she states that Burnout is a combination of workplace stress and a lack of personal care. 
And in that, she indicates that sometimes we don't even realize that you are actually uh, experiencing stress. Psychologists say this all the time. And so my question is, how does one avoid burnout and how does one deal with burnout when they realize that they are actually burning out?